how to breathe, we must believe. Because we know how to breathe, we must believe. Because we know how to see. Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of religion, or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Censorship threatens America's right to freedom of speech and our publications within movies, music, books, radios, comic books, newspapers, TV, and internet suffer. Censorship is not new. In ancient times, in Israel and China, censorship was seen as a legitimate instrument for regulating the moral and political life of the population. The situation only grew worse with the invention of the printing press. And in 1559, Pope Paul IV added Galileo and other authors to the first index of prohibited books. During this time, the Catholic Church controlled all publications of books. No book could be printed or sold without the permission of the Church. Even now, publishing companies hesitate or refuse to publish books that are viewed as political advertising, contain sexual content, or refer to sociably unacceptable topics. Censorship is initiated by rich corporate powers, and the FCC or Federal Communications Commission stop alternative media by placing fines on radio stations, film companies, television stations, and musicians if they don't agree with the morality of their content. It also goes beyond just that. Take, for instance, the coverage censored out of many news stations when Bush was welcomed to the White House with eggs and protesters, not being able to finish the route safely. Or Saddam Hussein's first appearance in court when his audio was blocked out of our screens. Why do they have the right to decide what this country is allowed to view? It's unfair for everyone to lose the right to freedom of speech because of the politics that have taken over this country. If you don't like what you hear, don't listen. If you don't like what you see, don't watch. The solution is simple. Turn it off. Present censorship is seen through Disney's refusal to sponsor Michael Moore's documentary, Fahrenheit 9-11, because the company feared that they wouldn't receive the same tax cuts by Jeb Bush. The removal of Howard Stern from popular radio stations and fines placed upon his marketers since he spoke out against Bush, and the raging conservative parents who wish to ban records that they find explicit. They don't think the parental advisory sticker goes far enough. Censorship has become a dominant shield in the American society. The FCC increases its power against this country's broadcasts and airwaves by raising fines and targeting entertainers. Among the list of criticized artists include Two Live Crew, Snoop Dogg, Marilyn Manson, NWA, Eminem, Bob Dylan, Cannibal Corpse, and John Lennon. We have the right to our own opinion. We cannot let censorship become commonplace and acceptable. We can't allow the destruction of our society's founding principles. Free speech is a prized civil right, but the power of the FCC and others can easily take it away from us. Our rights are on the line, and we can't stay quiet.